Good morning, guys. Kind of quiet around here with the grandkids gone. <laughs> it's uh, something else. Look at this. Our beans are coming up pretty good. Won't be long. We can be able to have some produce off of that one. This one. So, yep. They're coming up pretty good. I've got, I put cardboard on the ground to kill out the weeds. And then I put uh, tree bark. A lot of, uh, before they come in, the county comes through and, and, and cuts limbs and then they grind it up. Well, that, that was at a place we went down and got a, a bunch of that. So that's what I've got on it. And I put some good topsoil in it, or some good uh, compost soil in it. And uh, something that's got a lot of nutrients to put that on there. So it's, and it's going to grow and we can, we can, uh, add to it every year make it pretty nice so I'm getting around kind of late this morning <clears throat> things have just got me busy and I couldn't get out to, to make this thing any earlier but that's okay I'm gonna go up around and up our driveway this morning I need to get some walking in so keep my energy up Anyway, yeah, we got kind of quiet. They all headed out after, it was probably 7 o'clock Monday night when they headed out. So, made for a uh, good weekend. It was an awesome weekend. Seemed like we got a cold flunk front coming in tonight. I don't know what a cold front is. I just left the house there and Marsha was talking to her mom and she said we got a cold front coming. So hopefully it won't be too bad. Of course this time of year a cold front could be down in the 50s which is pretty welcome. We like the, the, the cool but I'm going to run out of ump today. I'm going to climb that hill. Oh. Well, we got some pretty skies here today. I got through there. Used to be a lane went up this way. The uh, log home is here. And back in the day, the driveway wasn't where I'm standing. It went up through the timber. Went up through there. And that is sold, you know, sold hands and whatever. But they got a road put through here, a driveway. This guy on this side donated this land for an easement down through here. So the county... Uh, the guy that owns the grader, we get him to come down every year, a couple times a year, and he'll grade that hill off because it's hard to climb that hill without spinning, and over time it creates ruts, water washes down, and it gets pretty, pretty rough, so we'll get the grader to come in and, and fix that up for us. But, man, it's pretty out here today. Another beautiful morning. Isn't it amazing how we can see things that, that how God places us where we're at and how our minds are always on our expectation. Seems like that's where my mind stays. Is on our expectation, not what we have here in this tangible stuff but our expectation you know we've got that to, to watch and and enjoy 
uh, think about, you know, in spirit, that's where we're at. And in reality, we're here on this earth with all our trials and tribulations. The whole, everything is groaning. You know, the whole creation is groaning. Waiting for the, <laughs> for the revel, to the revealing of the sons of God. Our expectation will be soon. I'm quite sure. But let me set this thing up. I need to go through uh, Titus because I'm in Titus 3 and verse 2 here. And uh, so I want to go through this before I get up that hill because I got a feeling <laughs> I won't have the energy to talk when I get top that rascal this morning. So let's see what we've got here Titus chapter 3 and verse 2 and these references I get out of Paul's writings so uh, look these up in reference and, and uh, read them in context with what's there all right because it makes a big difference but man there's so much neat stuff in Titus that oh it's just a joy to read it okay but here's what we got in chapter in, in verse 2 and these references to be culminating no one to be pacific and lenient, displaying all meekness toward all humanity. Or are you not aware that the unjust shall not be enjoying the allotment of God's kingdom? Be not deceived. Neither paramours, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor catamites, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, no revilers, no extortioners shall be enjoying the allotment of God's kingdom. Again, you are presuming that we are defending ourselves to you. Facing God in Christ are we speaking. Yet all, beloved, for the sake of your edification. For I fear, least somehow, on coming, I may not be finding you such as I want, and I may be found by you as such you do not want. At least somehow there be strife and jealousy, fury and factions, vilifications and whisperings, puffing up, turbulence, turbulences. Let all bitterness and fury and anger and clamor and calumny be taken away from you with all malice. The wives, similarly, are to be grave, not adversaries, sober, faithful in all things, no topper, not quarrelsome, but lenient, pacific, not fond of money. Now a slave of the Lord must not be fighting, but be gentle toward all, apt to teaching, uh, bearing with evil, with meekness, training those who are antagonizing, seeing whether God may be giving them repentance to come into a realization of the truth. Now, I, Paul, myself, am entreating you through the meekness and leniency of Christ, who, as to personal appearance, indeed, am humble among you, yet being absent, have courage toward you. I about knock that thing over. Watch it. <laughs> that, was, that was a good one now the fruit of the spirit is love joy and peace patience and kindness goodness and faithfulness meekness self control against such things there is no law brethren if a man should be precipitated also in some offense, you who are spiritual, be attuning such a one in a spirit of meekness, not noting, uh, noting yourself that you also may not be tried. With all humility and meekness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit with a tie of peace, one body, and one spirit, according as you are called also 
with one expectation of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one, tab one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, pitiful compassions, kindness and humility, meekness, patience, bearing with one another and dealing graciously among yourselves. If anyone should be having a complaint against any, according as the Lord also deals graciously with you, thus also you. But we became gentle in your midst, as a nurse should be cherishing her own children. Now a slave of the Lord must not be fighting, but be gentle toward all, apt to teach, bearing with evil, with meekness, training those who are antagonizing, seeing whether God may give them a, real, a repentance to come into a realization of the truth. For being free of all, I, am, I enslave myself to all, that I should be gaining the more. Consequently then, as we have occasion, we are working for the good of all, yet especially for the family of faith. Now we are entreating you, brethren, admonish the disorderly, comfort the disheartened, or comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the infirm, and be patient toward all seeing that no one may be rendering evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue that which is good for one another as well as for all. Wow. There's a lot in that. I won't add anything to Scripture. I'll put that up. All Scripture is inspired for teaching, and but my comments on it are not inspired, so we'll leave that out. There's that. All right. Man, it's going to be a beautiful day. <laughs> I'm going to have to get up and climb that hill. It's going to be exciting. If I get top of that today, that'll be a good thing. Yep, it will. All right. I'm going to get back and see what Marsh is up to. I'm going to climb that hill and check the mail. Get my exercise for the day. So, I think it's time we go see what God's got. You all ready? Yeah, I think I am. Grace and peace to you all. I appreciate you watching. I love you guys. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. See you then.